Hi, this is Elaine. We're going to try a hands-only video. I'm not too successful in these. <laughs> I seem to knock the camera or whatever. But I enjoyed making the beautiful flower card on Saturday's Joy and Faith Retreat. And we used um, ripped cards to make. So like when I cut out in Cricut and they were broken, see how the broken edge is there? Um, when I, I had all these, well I had four <laughs> broken ones. I walked out and did the dishes and my cricket went crazy and I cut them apart and I made some texture paste. I love the results of it, but instead today I made the same stencil um, using stencil film on my cricket, and we're going to try it with that. I haven't made one yet, just going to try it. And I took the same pattern and I um, made it smaller on a tag. And hopefully that'll make it easy. I think I'll start in the middle so I don't get texture paste on my hand here. I think that'll make it easy. Um, I'm using Ranger um, Opaque Matte Texture Paste. We sell that at Close to My Heart and it's a good product. And it's water soluble so you can take it off, but when it dries, it makes a very nice paste or a nice texture. An added bonus. I'm not sure with these little ones how much it's going to take. So we'll just give it a rub. Um, it's sort of like a frosting texture. And again, I showed this on Saturday at the Joy and Faith Retreat, but it was really difficult to see. So I think I'll use a fatter blade to take this off. Now what's nice about the texture paste using with the stencil film is the stencil films are washable. So when we remove this, just losing, using a sponge here, we can just wipe off that extra texture paste. I'm just gonna tap it dry so it doesn't make my card sock dirty. And I'm going to just move along. Now, the, the card I'm using right now is not real thick. I mean, real dark. I think the darker cards sometimes come out better. But it makes it really nice for coloring when this is dry. Um, I find if you put a little bit up top, and then use the thicker one, it fills in very nicely. In the excess, just scrape it right back in the jar to conserve. And you can make it thicker. I went over the edge this time. I don't think I'm going to worry about the edge too much till I get that off. doing this <laughs> without taping it down. With larger projects, I tend to tape it down. There we go. So we have some extra texture paste there. But I think we'll be able to get that off. Again, I just have a moist sponge. Baby wipes work too, but with this COVID thing, I've been using most of my baby wipes soaked in Lysol, so I don't want to use them up. I decided to use a sponge renewable. Again, I'm just gently wiping off my stencil and placing it on the next one. So if you have these tags lined up ahead of time, let me just try the big one to begin with this time. Have them lined up. You can almost do a production, uh, what is it called? A little production line so you can just Get a few cards done at once. This one I might leave a little thicker and see what it looks like. Very nice. I'm not even going to add more paste. I'm going to use the same one and not wash it and see what happens. It's on the top, so it should be okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be grungy or it can be very neat and orderly. Scrape a little.
little more off this one. We have one part of the stencil that's sort of bouncing on the bottom. Don't particularly like that part of the stencil. So just gonna whip six up. I have one 12 by 12 card sheet made 12 of them. So if I don't like the outcome of this, I have six more to try it differently. That one's nice and thick. That one piece there is not working well. I'm going to wash this off from my last one because I'm going to see if I can get that part better. Maybe if I start on the bottom, I'll be able to fix that little piece of stencil. It's not thick, but it's sort of nice because you can even soak these stencils, the stencil film, in water. Maybe it might be fun. Let's do this next one. Let's reverse it. Maybe that'll hold down the stencil. So I'm going to reverse it on here. The other thing that just fell by my feet <laughs> is a Cricut spatula. It's also something that you can rub off your texture paints with or scrape it off with. Let's go back to the little one. I'm going to just start on the broken part. Remember, I turned this upside down this time. We're gonna see if we can prevent that wrinkle. Okay. Gonna go down gently with the Cricut spatula this time. And I just keep scraping it right back into the jar to conserve the paste. Not very expensive, but it's not very cheap either. <laughs> so you can use it as much over and over again. Okay, well, that one I think came out nice. Of course, we have a hard hole in there, <laughs> right in the hole. Okay, now I also put, whoops, sorry for the arm there, also put a card level. See if I can move that a little. Okay. Also made a stencil, and I made the lip down here bigger than a card, so it's easy for me to pick up. Well, that's what I hope. So I'm still gonna just put on my frosting. I do have one piece of washi tape here. Bachelor. I've always used a really small one. Now I'm just putting this on a basic piece of cardstock. I don't know if it's going to be a card. Um, I'm not sure what. I'm just making the impression and I'll play with it later. I'll post a picture under this little video. Well, I guess I can't do that on YouTube, but I can do it on Facebook. Post a finished product later. Okay, I think I got all the holes fixed. And I'm going to go back to the Little crickets. Spit. Oop, I see one more hole not filled in. Okay, I'm gonna go with the cricket spatula and rub it down pretty smoothly. You know, this texture paste is kind of fun. You can make names with it. You can um, just add um, different things to your your layouts or your cards and it will take any kind of color like ink reinkers or we did pastels the other day okay taking off the washi tape and remember I left a little ridge oh I think that's gonna be pretty do you have a scrap there a little mess so I'll clean that up And last but not least, remember I said we used broken pieces on Saturday to make our stencils. Well, I cut off the broken pieces and I ended up with a half a card, which could be a card front. 
So I think I will tack this one down a little um, and just hold the stencil in place. I'm going to put a little washi tape in the corners just to, so it won't move as much. There we go. There doesn't seem to be any adhesive on the bottom. It is wiggly. It's so big. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half piece. So I think I'm going to put another piece of washi here and maybe at my corner. That'll give me a little stabilization. And run on with a texture base. Being generous, <laughs> I'd rather take it off after it's on and I know every little hole is covered. I think I like the multi-layer card we made on Saturday, but I just love the flowers and leaves with the flourish. So it makes a nice little pattern with a texture paste. And that's why I'm making more of them. Also, it helps you see if you attended the Facebook Live or the Zoom conference, helps you see how I actually did it when the camera wasn't pointed correctly. <laughs> I think I got the side of me most of the time. It was hard to see. If I keep doing these virtual things, I'll figure out how to use the technology. I'm not very skilled at it at this point. But I do find it fun, and I find it's a good way to connect. And every Thursday at 11 o'clock, I do have a Zoom work time. And um, you can work on whatever you're working on at home. And get off this frosting here. <laughs> you can work on whatever you're working on and talk with other ladies while they craft. I'm going to leave the bottom one on and just take the corner tape off. And remember the, I made a lip on the stencil. So, a little bit thicker there, but I think it'll still make a lovely stencil. So, that's how... You use stencil film to make a 3D effect little on your little tags that you can include with a card that matches or just for a separate little gift. So let me see what you create with us and have a great day. God bless.